snow around Portland and Sebago Lake. Another area hit pretty hard. Uh, Killington, Vermont, that area hit pretty hard with some heavy snow. And also around Binghamton and Rochester and Canastota in western New York. But a pretty swath here of 6 to 12 inches. And something a little different than this than the last storm. We actually had a lot more snow over the interior of New England and also into New York and Pennsylvania than uh, we did uh, with the last ones, which have been mainly affecting the coast. So kind of a rarity here with this season so far. Behind that, the tremendous amounts of cold air continue to infiltrate the south. We'll find out what it feels like to be in Panama City this morning. I think a lot of people in Albany would like to be in Panama City Beach this morning, Jim. But uh, during the last break, uh, I had a little bit of coffee, and I think that coffee kicked in because uh, I got the ruler out, and I started sticking it in the ground, poking around, and seeing how much snow has fallen this morning. And we have picked up an additional three inches. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's still coming down at a pretty good little clip here. But it does appear to be taping off just a smidgen. Snowfall from uh, yesterday's part of the storm was 9.3 inches at the airport, so tack on another 3 inches here, and we're over 12 inches for the storm. So that probably makes this the most significant snowfall of the season here in the Capital District. We talked to the state emergency uh, people, and even though this is a significant snowfall, it's not a paralyzing storm, and they monitored the situation throughout the night, and there were no requests for assistance from anyone and all the counties apparently managed on their own and they don't anticipate any major problems. So even though it's a, a pretty hefty snowfall here, it's just really terrible driving. You don't want to be out in it. And there's a, a lot of closings around here today. And it seems like most of the people that have to work are at work and the road crew is, of course, doing their thing. And once the snow tapers off, they should have things in pretty good shape for the evening rush hour. Yeah, you mentioned before we definitely have some pretty big studs uh, sitting behind the wheels of the plow, no doubt about it. I saw you when you were setting up the shot there. looked like there was somebody shoveling their car out. Could you go over and show us what that's like? It looked like there was a lot of snow over there. Steve, uh, do you want to take a look at this young lady over here? Yeah, she's still over there. She's now brushing her car off. And I was doing a little shoveling myself there, Jim. I, uh, what a gentleman. I have All a few right. sore muscles now, but uh, <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. But uh, talking about the snowfall here, Jim, and uh, the, the slippery conditions, uh, uh, the people here were looking at a lot of snow early in the season. I was talking to the Weather Service. They were getting exciting here because they thought they might be on their way to a record snowfall here. But then all of a sudden, the snow stopped in the uh, middle of January, and they haven't seen any significant snows until now. So that's why, probably why there's been reports of many accidents. Uh, we did see the heavy snows earlier in the winter, but then it just kind of stopped. A lot of nuisance storms, and now that uh, winter is almost over, of course, here comes the snow once again. All right, thank you very much for that report, Mark. Go uh, be a gentleman and help that lady shovel her car out. We'll check back with you in just a little bit. Folks, what's going on uh, in the Northeast? We continue to get the snow. Boston setting their single season snowfall record. We'll take you there yesterday as the snow began. Five inches of snow on the ground before the sun even set. And now the 95-96 season is the snowiest one on record. And we could be nearing 100 inches of snow before. Si Look at this. Forget it. She didn't even want to deal with the winter. Yeah, just a single season snowfall record there again uh, of nearly 100 inches. Could be another two to four coming in in the next hour or two. We'll show you a band of snow getting ready to move into Boston. Let's uh, go ahead to the radar this morning and you can see what's cooking as we show you more snow continuing in the northeast. We've even had some snow showers and squalls in the south this morning, driving in the several reports along Interstate 75, 575, uh, Interstate 20 of uh, visibilities occasionally getting that half a mile. But we always talk about, you know, the surface systems, and this is what you see on our analysis of the fronts when our, with our current map. But what you don't usually see, unless we show you a satellite or a water vapor, is the upper air system. And that is what's providing additional lift to this area right in through here. And, of course, with your low uh, spinning count counterclockwise and rolling that low-level moisture from the Atlantic on in. We've got plenty of juice to squeeze out this morning, and that's what's going on from New York City all the way up uh, into Albany, where Mark is. You saw the snow coming down moderately. Hartford's got moderate snow. Springfield, and you can see Boston's just on the edge there of getting into this snow, and it's going to happen as we work our way through the next hour or two, too. So get ready for that, Boston. Here's the south this morning, and as you can see, our snow bands continue to roll southward. And as the, they do, we are getting, uh, again, occasional bursts of snow. But this should wind down, and it should not be a travel problem.